Hello, it is shortly after Christmas, the year 2020. The Christmas star made an appearance, which is an alignment of Saturn and Jupiter in our early evening sky. I had heard in advance that creativity would be heightened for many people. Not sure if it's all people, but people that fall into the category of the, the mysterious term indigo children which children that are perceived as maybe being a little more sensitive. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm one of those children, but I have been hit with inspiration over this last week. And that inspiration is turned into a burning desire, which is not a new desire. It's a desire that I've carried for more than 20 years that's been inspired from every direction. I'm writing a movie. It's a movie called The Scrolls That Saved the World. That's right, you heard it here first. The Scrolls That Saved the World. Which is a story that is three stories intertwined through time, told out of sequence, but connected. This story starts out in the early 90s, and this is a shout out and a call to anyone that was a part of DS Max in the late 90s. Juice by you, juice by that guy, have a juicy day. If any of these terms are familiar, this would be a couple of decades ago, you probably went in for an interview at a DS Max office. They weren't all called this. The one I went in first was called Direct Action, and then another called SNS Advertising. I opened my own called New Wave Advertising. The advertising division was controlled by Grant and Marketing. I could go on and on with this. It was, there was well over a hundred offices in the advertising division, even more in the clearance division. There was a communications division, even a roses division. And all of them operated on the same basic sales system that we called the five and the eight. Or really just a system, but it was the five and the eight. And if you got advanced, they added the four. But that's not what this video is about. My movie, The Scrolls That Saved the World, starts out in Raleigh, North Carolina. There's a character named Gary Goodhue, kind of reminds you of Jim Carrey. He's a funny, likable guy, a little on the tall side. He moves in with our main character, Jim. Jim Short. Gary's unpacking his things. Jim and Gary are getting to know each other better. They work together doing door-to-door, -door advertising, sales, promotion, marketing. We never really know what to call it. And Gary unpacks a book, a little book called The Greatest Salesman in the World, written by Og Mandino, published in 1968, written in 1967. And Gary shares that book with, with Jim, and he reads to him Scroll 3. Now, inside of this book, The Greatest Salesman in the World, that which will be definitely highlighted and inspired from in the movie The Scrolls That Saved the World, are what's called the 10 Ancient Scrolls of Success. It's a story about Hafid, who was known as the greatest salesman in the world, and he reflects back to his time as a camel boy and how this story unfolded. But as Gary read scroll number three to Jim, something resonated inside of Jim and the rest of this story is possible because of this third scroll. And you can go back on my channel. They're not very good, <laughs> but I have attempted to make scroll videos in the past, but they have not been completed. But there is nine of them there. You can find it on a playlist here on the Trucker Jim channel and it's entitled The Ten Ancient Scrolls. But I'm gonna give it a shot, unedited, from heart, from memory, to recite to you right now, scroll three. <clears throat> and let me warn you, this is good stuff. In the Orient, young bulls are tested for the fight arena in a certain manner. Each of the bulls is brought to the ring and allowed to attack a picador who pricks him with a lance. The braver of each bull is rated with care according to the number of times he demonstrates his willingness to charge in spite of the sting of the blade. Henceforth, I will recognize that each day I am tested by life in a like manner. 
if I persist, if I continue to try, if I continue to charge forward, I will succeed. I will persist until I succeed. I was not delivered into this world in defeat, nor does failure course through my veins. I am not a sheep waiting to be prodded by my shepherd. I am a lion. And I refuse to walk, to talk, to sleep with the sheep. I will not hear those who weep and complain, for their disease is contagious. Let them join the sheep. The slaughterhouse of failure is not my destiny. I will persist until I succeed. The prizes of life are at the end of each journey, not near the beginning. And it's not given to me to know how many steps are necessary in order to reach my goal. Failure, I may still encounter at the thousandth step. Yet, success hides behind the next bend in the road. Never will I know how close it lies unless I turn the corner. Always will I take another step. And it is that of no avail, I will take another and yet another. In truth, one step at a time is not too difficult. I will persist until I succeed. I will be likened to the raindrop which washes away the mountain, the ant who devours a tiger, the slave who built the star which brightens the earth, the slave who builds a pyramid. I will build my castle one brick at a time, for I know that small attempts repeated will complete any undertaking. I will persist until I succeed. I will try and try and try again. Try and try again. All right, it'll come to me. I will remember the ancient law of averages and I will bend it to my good. I will persist with the knowledge that each failure to sail will increase my chances for success at the next attempt. Each nay I hear will only bring me closer to the sound of a yay. Each frown I meet only prepares me for the smile to come. Each misfortune I encounter will carry in it the seed of tomorrow's good luck. I must have the night to appreciate the day. I must fail often to succeed only once. I will persist until I succeed. Ah, uh, this is the part I'm forgetting. Uh. See guys, I'm still not there yet. I've made progress, but the destination has not been reached. But the journey, guys, that's where the fun's at. And the journey is starting now. Now, this movie, it's more than a movie. I thought about a 10 episode series, but no, it's gonna be three movies. It's the trilogy of the scrolls that saved the world. It used to just be an idea. Now, it's something more. It became an outline. I know how it begins. I know it how it ends. I know some stuff in the middle, but the dialogue, the characters and everything, that's still a work in progress. Any previous DS Max people from any division, we may have worked together at some point. The greatest salesman in the world with the scrolls came into my life during that time I'm not sure how many other people are familiar with this. I doubt most had the scrolls resonate with them like I did, but I know some did. I don't need everybody. I just need a few. Please leave a comment below. My email contact and all that is in the description. There's also a link for some Trucker Gym apparel if you would like to get early edition stuff like that. It's not that good. It's overpriced, but I think it's still available. There's a link. But also insurance agent, combined insurance especially, that's going to be in the movie too. There's going to be a time period back in the 50s and then there's going to be one in the early 2000s for combined insurance. Instead of hiring Hollywood actors, 
I'm looking for fresh faces with talent. If you know the five, the eight, and the four, you're probably one of those people. The book, The Greatest Salesman in the World, was written by Og Mandino, which before he was a book writer, he was an insurance agent for, you guessed it, combined insurance. Instead of picking up a 38, buying it from the pawn shop and ending it all, he went to the library instead, found a book written by W. Clement Stone, the founder of Combined Insurance, called Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. And he said, man, I want to work for a man that thinks like that. And he became an insurance agent. And over the course of the years, he became the publisher of the magazine that spun off from Combined Insurance called Success Magazine, which was a publication for successful salesmen. But this is an epic tale told over the course of 2,000 years that just has divine intervention written all over it. But drop a comment below if you would like to learn more. It's in the early stages. It's going to be written in 2021. I guess all the, the production and everything pulled together in 2022. And I don't know, 2020, 2023 seems like a time to film and it'll be released shortly thereafter. But once again, it's the trilogy of the scrolls that saved the world. The world needs this. I need you to give a thumbs up, share this video, interact. So this is an early part of the process of something you'll be able to sit on your couch and enjoy with your family. I don't know all the checkpoints along the way, but I know the, the starting line was back here somewhere and the finish line is ahead. And I just trust things are gonna line up and I will work on it every day until there is no until I will work on it every day and when the trilogy's finished there's a whole universe of of film that can come from it that really needs to come from it a deeper look at door-to-door -door sales during the mid to late 90s. Just that time period of the mid to late 90s, the music was so good. It was before 9-11. You could get away with a lot. You didn't have cameras on you all the time. You didn't even have a cell phone on your pocket. There wasn't GPS. It was a different time and it was great and it was fun. And I'd like to show it to the, the kids. I'd really like for kids to find the 10 Ancient Scrolls. If you research, you will find the 10 Ancient Scrolls is a work of fiction created by Og Mandino. All 10 scrolls, which just have a very ancient, wise feel to them, but they were written in one day. In a 24-hour period, all 10 scrolls were written and edited. With the exception of two, there was no editing. They were perfect. When Og was awoken after collapsing from writing the 10 scrolls, he said, I did it. She said, did what? Said, I finished. So like, you finished what? The scrolls. And I don't remember a word I typed. You'll find out where the scrolls really came from in the scrolls that saved the world. I'm excited. Interact in the comments to show your support and especially DS Max insurance people as far as creating the world realistically with authentic surprises. I could use more experiences than just my own. My contact info is below. See you next time.